what has the past couple of days look like for you? Uh, it's been, we came Thursday. Uh, we staged in Panama City and then we came up here because we heard it was bad up here. We got up here with our boats. This water was way too, way too strong for us. We're swift water trained, but it was, it's, this was helicopter rescue, a lot of it. Uh, now we're having so many donations. There's so many wonderful people that come out. When, when there's a disaster, I find so many people come together. There's no racism, there's no nothing. It's togetherness to help people in need. We have so many volunteers. We have so many uh, people that donated to us. Uh, we have a distribution center up Black Mountain that we're coming out into the rural areas. We have mules that carry packed groceries and all up top of the mountains. Yeah. Um, we have even have a helicopter with us that's been taking stuff up. We have four wheelers, we have chainsaw crews, we have heavy equipment that's volunteers to come up and just to cut roads to get to people. It's, people are still in these mountains and nobody has been to them. People are dying in these mountains. And we got to have, we got to get to them. We do, the, we're doing the best we can with what we got. But we have so many people that's been so wonderful to us yeah. to open their, open this town bus to come in and help. Uh, we do the large work. That's what we do. That's uh, that's who we are. Yeah. And so, can you elaborate a little bit more as to how difficult it is getting to the folks up in the mountains? Oh well, we went to we went up to the mountains. The roads are gone. There's no roads. There's there's washed out roads. There's washed out bridges. Is, uh, and it, the mountain is way up, so all that water came down the mountain and just washed everything away. Like this creek right here, that, this thing was way up, it was like 30 feet here, up above whatever it's supposed to be. And I talked to a man that, he said he heard people hollering for help over during the night. And he said he heard it all night long. People was in top of trees hollering for help. Nobody could, you couldn't get to them, too swift. But uh, we, we I mean, we, we took mules way up the mountain in uh, Blackwater and Mon, Montreat uh, up there. We went up there and found some people that needed food, so we, we had to take the mules. Yeah. We couldn't take our trucks. It was too bad. The roads were gone. Uh, there's, there's all over there. All roads are washed all up the mountains. We have crews all up in different parts of the mountain, bringing generators to people, uh, cutting out roads, trying to get to the people that's up there that needs help. It's just a, it's an ongoing thing. It's, it's really a bad all the way from Miami, Florida, all the way up to Tennessee. Yeah. That got hit by this hurricane. Yeah. It's one it's, of the worst hurricanes ever. So about how long do you feel like you and your team are going to be here in this area? Um, me, I'll probably be here a month. My team will be uh, probably a month, too, that we have so much donations to give out and pass out. Um, we, we go out, and like I said, we go out into communities and do it. Yeah. We bring hot lunches. They got somebody cooking hot lunches. So we go out. We go out and do whatever we can do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's something. I'm, I, I'm a servant for the Lord. Absolutely. I'm doing His work. Absolutely, Amen. And so I have to ask. It's one thing being. I mean, everyone's help here is needed, right? And so it's one thing donating funds. It's another thing being here, boots on the ground. Kind of talk to me about how important it is to have all these folks here, not just first responders, but people just grabbing their own equipment out of their own backyards. You know, what's left of it and helping. Yeah, that's that's really a good thing too. People have just come from everywhere with equipment, trying to get to people, but the the communication is so bad. We have no communication, and that's what's bad about because we don't know where we where we need to be. We have to find out our own. We explore, we go. People that we met have sent us addresses, and we go get to them as best we can. If we need mules, we take a mule. If we need a helicopter, we take a helicopter. Whatever it takes for us to get there, we'll get there. Absolutely. Uh, it might take us a, time, a little bit of time, but we will get there. Yeah. If somebody sends us an address, we, we do our best to get there. If we can't get there, we'll find somebody else to get there. Yeah. And so, has this at all been an emotional experience for you? Don't talk about emotional. You'll make me break down in now. It's been, it's been real emotional to see people to lose everything, and uh, especially me. I, I got saved 16 years ago, and I was not that great of a fella then, but now I do the Lord's work and I get so emotional just people hugging me and just to see people smile and a kid to smile to get a Capri Sun or something means everything in the world to me. Um, we don't do it for the money. We do it out of goodness of heart. We're doing God's work. God is just a glory, but God blesses us so much. Um, 
beyond ever what I thought I could be blessed. Yeah, um, yeah it's it's great. It's it's so good when when I hate to say it, but when a disaster comes, people come out. We come out, we show up, and get out. That's I mean that's what we do. We show up and, and do what we can. You know, we can't serve everybody, but we can. If we could just have a little more communication, it'd be a lot better. Okay. You know, we could get a lot better places. Absolutely. And so, is there anything that I haven't asked you that you would like to ask? Um, well, I was supposed to go home yesterday. I'm out of heart medicine. <laughs> I called my wife and told her I wasn't coming home. So they pulled strings, and God made a miracle that the lady right down the road is going to fill my prescription oh, so I can stay longer. Because I had to drive 11 hours there and 11 hours right back because oh uh, I wasn't ready to go home yet. I'm not finished doing God's work. Uh, I tell you, the founder of the Cajun Navy 2016 is John Bridges and Laurie Bridges. Two of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. They took me in seven years ago, and they they kept me, and they're just wonderful people to just start this organization and to be willing to do what they got to do. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying not to get. That's okay. We'll get emotional together. <laughs> it's hard to talk oh, about yeah. things and, and not get emotional. Yeah, it's just... God has humbled me so bad. I mean, I used to be a big, mean fellow and fight all the time, but now I'm so humble, I cry all the time. Yeah, just... You know what I mean? Hey, it's, it's okay. But it's joyful tears, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. Joyful tears knowing that we can come out and help people. I got people all over here wanting me to stay. I said, I got to have to go home. Yeah. I got girlfriends. I got a new mom and dad up here. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's just, I can't express it. People ask me, do I get paid? I said, are you serious? Yeah. Payment, what I get payment for is a, to see a heart or a soul get joy in it or a soul get one to Christ, um, I don't go nowhere but somebody don't know about Jesus because that's what God wants me to do. Yeah. Uh, I had some people down there that sang a song to me from Louisiana, Hank Williams, because I was from Louisiana. Yeah. It's just so amazing. I can't express the joy that I get doing God's work out here. People ask me all the time, "Why you don't get paid, why do you go? Because that's what I do. And that's what so many people do. So many people do this because they love it, and they love to help people.